Hi there everybody, I'm the Blackbird's Feather, and today the Blackbird is visiting Swansea. So this trip is going to form part of a week-long holiday that I have planned with my wonderful girlfriend Katie. Uh, it's actually a surprise uh, mystery tour for her, so she has no idea where we're going. We're going to be going to four different places, and Swansea's the first one. Um, she doesn't know where we're going, though, because uh, it's part of uh, a thing that she likes, where she likes to go on holiday, but likes a little bit of mystery, where she doesn't know where she's going. And uh, the purpose of the trip is, uh, on the 28th of July, it's going to be our one year, so uh, I'm taking her away as a little holiday get-together for, for us to, um, to celebrate our one year. So we're going to be going to Swansea. I went there, uh, ooh, wow, must be about four or five years ago now. I nearly ended up at university there, actually. So um, we're going to be visiting Swansea. We're going to check out some of the sites. We're going to have a look around. Uh, I don't think Katie's ever been there before. Um, but yeah, she has no idea we're actually going there. So um, yeah, see how we go. Here she is. <laughs> excited to go on holiday? <laughs> Absolutely. She has no idea where we're going. But four different places. Alcohol. So yeah, she's excited. <laughs> So we have arrived in Swansea. Uh, we are in the Mercule, um, which is up by Swansea Vale. Um, £158 for two nights, which isn't too bad, but unfortunately a lot of the amenities are closed where it's post-Covid, so um, the one we were looking forward to in particular was the swimming pool. So that's closed. Um, yeah, sad. But uh, the fitness centre is also closed, also the restaurant and the bar are also closed, which is a travesty. Unfortunately, we're not very happy tourists. Uh, so I did all my pre-planning for this trip based on the idea that I'd be able to park up at the hotel and, uh, um, and get public transport into the city because I want to support the local economy, I want to support the local buses, uh, in particular obviously where Covid's happened, uh, they've no doubt had you know, difficulties getting people on board and whatnot. And um, so I did all my planning and looked up the local bus website, looked on Google, uh, checked bus times, everything like that, only to realise that once I got to the bus stop, there's a small piece of paper behind me, there, that says that there's no buses running today. <laughs> Unbelievable. So um, that's really disappointing, and obviously this means. Um, luckily, I have the luxury of actually driving, so but I'm going to. I'm going to drive us into the city centre now. But I did want a break from driving, and I wanted to use the bus so I could have a drink and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, we uh, we're going to have to take the car now. Uh, so slightly disappointed, but um, we'll see you in the city centre, having once now driven into the city instead of using the bus. So. Need a little bit more. Yeah. Need a little bit more output on information about the local transport around here. Currently sat in Castle Square in Swansea. We finally made it. Uh, I guess one thing that made up for the fact we couldn't get the bus here is that uh, the parking on a Sunday is free. So, as long as you go to the right car park, because, yeah. The irony is, like I said, Shane knows in the car park that's for free, and... Yeah, and then we found a car park that was actually free, so that was kind of funny, but yeah. That's Dalmatian! We are in Castle Square. Good tour. So, um, obviously because I drove in, can't drink, but no, it's actually quite nice here. Um, there's a lot of things around, we've just been shopping, uh, there's plenty of shopping if you're into that, so uh, lots and lots of things to, to see. Um, we're going to go and have a look at the castle that's just behind us in a minute, and then probably go for a drink. Over by Swansea Castle, unfortunately not a lot of information boards, so we don't know a lot about the place. Um, I think it's Norman though. Yeah, there's but, a sign um, about... Um, yeah, um, some dude um, actually tried, they tried to kill him, he was sentenced to death, and he was hanged twice and actually survived, which is quite For another quite 18 a feat. years and so Quite a feat, actually, yeah, so that was kind of interesting. That was Otherwise, in the 1930s? Yeah. Quick walk past Swansea Museum. Uh, we're struggling to find anywhere that's actually open because, um, obviously, COVID, post-COVID lockdown, a lot of these places are still closed. So we're struggling to find anywhere to sit down for a drink or whatnot. But yeah, we're just walking past the museum. Uh, we're down oh, by the museum open, gardens. Either. That's not open either, so that's a bit of a shame. But uh, the gardens are nice. The gardens are nice. Yeah. So see the gardens behind us over here. Yeah. 
So yeah, we're just gonna, we've possibly found somewhere that might be open, but it's a bit of a task at the moment, so um, see how we go. Unfortunately, we didn't find anywhere to drink. Um, basically, because it's post-COVID, um, these places are still in lockdown, and um, obviously they're still trying to Im implement these uh, social distancing measures. So we didn't find anywhere to drink in the end, so we ended up at Subway. We did. But it, it doesn't matter that we didn't get the bus in the end. Yes. <laughs> so as Katie said, um, not actually all that disappointed we didn't pay £4 each for a return into the city centre because obviously there wasn't much open, some of the shops weren't open, so... And it's an hour each way. So. Yeah, it's it's quite a long way and a long time to spend to then go somewhere with nothing open, so... Okay. But um, very but, understanding. And mm. At least, you know, makes up for the free car park. That's why it was Yeah, free. yeah, that may, might well be why the car <laughs> park was free. So, um, yeah, so at the same time, you know, not too disappointed on that front, but... Um, we've come up with another plan, so obviously we still have some drink left over from... Uh, when we arrived, so we a sneaky one we came back. Yeah, a little bit of day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> makes up for not being everything yeah. is shut. It makes up for everything. Yeah, so we got, we we're on holiday, so we got got to fit the alcohol exactly. in somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> but we've come up with another plan. So um, we're going to go for a walk, and uh, well, I guess we'll just show you around when we go for this walk. And so here we are on the lakeside walk. Uh, we're currently on the western side of the lake. I should have put my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, the sun has just come out actually, so it's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, um, definitely well worth doing this if you're staying in the Mercure, which is near the lake, uh, up at Swansea Vale. It's a really nice walk. I can imagine on a summer's day you could probably come out here for a picnic, so that'd be quite nice, I think. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, um, well worth doing for sure. Uh, highly recommended walk around the lake. Oh, that's a shame. I was really considering going for a quick swim. Or not. We are now over on the eastern side of the lake, which is probably uh, the best in terms of... Getting attacked. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> um, yes, we're over on the eastern side of the, uh, the lake. Uh, it's probably the best side in terms of getting quite close to the river, whilst also being able to see out over the river. So um, I'll pop a video reel in uh, just after this, but yeah. Um, it's really, really beautiful, and as I said before, highly recommended uh, to come to this way. In particular, as I said, if you're staying at the Mercure uh, in uh, Swansea Vale, this is right on the doorstep, and um, yeah, it's, it's definitely well worth it. So our trip to Swansea is now complete. We are now heading to a different destination as per the tour. Uh, yeah, <laughs> excited. Yeah, um, but overall, I think we've had we've had a good time here. Uh, obviously, with the businesses being closed and COVID, then you know there's not a lot that's actually open. So I don't think we were able to fulfil our visit in quite the same way as we perhaps normally would. Um, but they still should tell, tell us online the actual time yeah, if they're shut. Yeah, the that's true. So, saying they're open when yeah, they businesses have declared on Google that they were open when they weren't. So um, overall then, I think rating the hotel, um, it's a nice place to stay. I do recommend the hotel if you get a cheap enough deal. Uh, I wouldn't pay more than £100 per night to stay here. But uh, we got 79 which wasn't too bad. So... Overall, I think we're going to give it about an 8 out of 10, this hotel. Um, the lack of air conditioning in the summer is not brilliant. And the bathroom's a bit weird, so the shower's not that great. Um, the toilet's really odd. It sticks out the wall, and there's a few like broken tiles and things like that as well, which is you know a little bit disappointing. But it's a nice place to stay, definitely recommend it. And the taps it. are... One goes... Turn them on, they're opposite yeah yeah that's there. right yeah the the sink taps turn in different directions for hong kong which is a bit weird so and the hot super hot so you have to have both of them but you have to get yes. it right because do not burn yourselves on the water so make sure you know which way to go because yes. it took me ages absolutely so yeah hotel eight out of ten um overall visit to swansea i think we're going to give it a seven 
Um, they do it, need to update websites. Yeah, yeah. websites, even tourist the information. Still should have it, even yeah, though that sort of thing needs needs a bit of modernising. Needs a bit of an update. Needs to be you know because as tourists we during, obviously don't know. So. Especially during this time. Where especially during the summer when you're trying to attract people after COVID as well. So you want people coming in again to spend money in your local economy. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Blackbird's Feather. Join us next time for more travel videos. <laughs> And of course, when you depart a hotel having paid significant money for a room, we're going to do what, well, let's face it, we've all done it before. Steal the shampoo.